Hello, how are we all doing on this fine morning, evening, afternoon? I have basically taken the entire of 2020 off and now it's 2021, I feel like I need to do something again. I am in the planning stages of a lot of things at the moment, but I kind of feel like while that's all being planned, I'm not really putting anything out. It's 2021, I need to do something. Um, new year, new me, that whole jazz. But yeah, I thought I would just sit down like the old days and do my makeup and hope that some of you guys would want to watch me. Let's go. So I wasn't really sure what kind of look I was going for here. All I knew was that I wanted freckles. I want them, I love them, embrace them if you have them. I've been trying to perfect the fake freckle for a while now and I think I finally got it down pat. So I suppose we could call this look an almost sun-kissed natural glam. Okay, so first on the agenda, we have the skincare, and I have been loving Fenty skin products lately. So I am just starting off with the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner. Next up is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer, which I have been using and loving for the last two months. Now, it is important to note that although it says SPF 30 on the bottle, it is only SPF 15 according to Australian metrics, because our sun here is just next level. As I said, this is a fake freckle look and I am all about the sun protection. So I'm going in now with this cult favorite ultraviolet sun serum, which has an SPF of 50 plus and is amazing. I use this every single day. Last Fenty item on the agenda for now is the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I honestly didn't realize how much Fenty I was using in this look until I sat down to edit. It's obviously a favorite. Now for that sun-kissed glow, I had to go with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is great because it's buildable, looks like skin, and leaves you with a healthy looking glow. Highly recommend if you have dry skin like me. Next up, I'm going in with this Hourglass Concealer. Now I've been trying this new concealer technique that I saw on TikTok and it makes your eyes look so much more awake and lifted. I'll link the TikTok below so you can check it out. This guy has so many great tips for makeup application. Now, if you're looking for a more natural blend like I am today, I have found that cream products are much more effective. So I'm using this Matchstick Skin Stick from Fenty, surprise, surprise, to shape out and contour my face. Just setting the areas of my face now that are most likely to get oily because we have used a lot of cream and glowy products which are not the best for staying put throughout the day. Also just enhancing my bronze with some NARS Laguna bronzer. I actually find it really effective to use a powder bronzer instead of a setting powder to set my cream contour in place. I feel like blush is having a major comeback at the moment and it is a necessity when it comes to sunkissed looks. Now, as you can see, I am not sticking to the cheeks and instead I'm actually bringing it up across the nose where the sun would naturally hit. Finally, it's time for the freckles and I am using a couple of methods here because I really wanted to show some layers. Starting off by taking some of that same Fenty matchstick and a teeny weeny tiny brush to spatter some freckles across the nose and high cheekbones. Then the trick is to dab them with your sponge applicator and repeat the process. I'm repeating the same technique now with the benefit precisely my brow pencil. The idea is that you want to just layer and layer the freckles so that they look natural, blending out each time with the beauty blender. To finish off the glow, I'm going in with these Zoeva liquid light drops and applying them with my fingertips. For a more natural look, your fingers are your best bet for application as the warmth actually helps to melt the product into your skin. I love using the same bronzing powder on my eyelids as my cheeks. It's such an easy way to pull together a look. So I'm just sweeping some more NARS Laguna onto my eyelids with a fluffy blending brush and also taking a little bit below the eyelid to add some depth. For the brows, I am using the same Benefit Cosmetics pencil that I used for the freckles. Precisely my brow pencil is my literal ride or die for brows. I have yet to find a product that I like more. And then just setting them in place with some clear brow gel. This one is also by Benefit. I felt like the 
eyes weren't quite finished yet, so I wanted to go with a kind of smoky winged look. Using eyeshadow instead of eyeliner is such a great way to add depth and shape to your eyes while still maintaining a soft and natural appearance. Finishing off now with some mascara. This one is by Marc Jacobs and it is great. And I really wasn't satisfied with the freckles, so I went back over them a few more times. It's so hard because you want them to be noticeable, but also still look natural. Luckily though, all it takes is a simple dab of your sponge and you can blend them back out, so you don't have to be afraid you'll overdo it. You can always erase them and start again. Just adding a tiny bit of that highlight to the inner corners of my eyes now. And finishing off with some lips. Don't mind the singing. Oh, would you hide in the sky to new land? On the I just away. So I have gone with a creamy Charlotte Tilbury nude and then following in with this Fenty Gloss Bomb. I really felt like the gloss accentuated the glow and tied the whole look all together. Well, there you have it folks, that is the finished product. I had no idea what I was doing just then, I just wanted to create something very summery and bronzy and I am obsessed with freckles at the moment. I'm super jealous of people who have them because I want them. Um, I don't know if you can really see it on the screen, I'll put some pictures up here so you can see what it looks like in natural light. I just didn't want to overdo it for the camera because then I would have looked very strange um, for the rest of the day. If you're still sitting at home in lockdown, love goes out to you, it'll be over soon. Hopefully. And yeah, I will see you guys next time with another video. And years ago, when Queen Two was hers.